Hey Guardian, Wolfie here of Couch Team Gaming, and check out this weapon that I've got here. Do you know what this is? This is the Yallerhorn, the most overpowered rocket launcher in year one of Destiny, has made a return here in Rise of Iron. Are you wondering how to get one? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get a Yallerhorn of your very own in this video here, but before we do that, Remember to leave a like on the video if it does help you out and subscribe for more videos. With that being said, let's go ahead and get you your Yallerhorn. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do in order to acquire your Yallerhorn is you need to complete all of the story missions for Rise of Iron. Once you've done that, if you have not done so already, go ahead and go into your menu and open your Year 3 Rise of Iron booklet. Upon opening that, you should receive a quest called Echoes of the Past. If you've already completed the campaign, the quest itself should be on step number two. Step number two says go ahead and patrol the plague lands. Now what you're gonna wanna do here specifically is once you're on the plague lands, go ahead and head on over to Archon's Keep. Once there, pull out your ghost and look for a patrol quest that has an icon which looks like a ghost. Once you pick that up, it will tell you to scan an anomaly. Now before you do this part here, you need to make sure that you have a splicer key in your inventory because the anomaly is behind a locked pathway and the only way to open this pathway is with a splicer key. Splicer keys can drop from random enemies and they can also drop from broodmother wizards which are located throughout the plague lands. Broodmother wizards have specific spawn locations. An easy one to find is right when you arrive in the Plague Lands Patrol, one spawns directly in front of you. All you have to do is look down and it should be in that area right there. It should pop up after a few seconds, unless someone's already killed it. If that's the case, you can just go out to orbit and come back in and it should spawn again. Now let's go ahead and head on over to that anomaly. Use your splicer key in order to open the pathway that'll allow you access to the anomaly. Now by the anomaly, you'll find a giant walker. You don't actually need to kill this walker, all you need to do is get behind it and scan the artifact on the ground. Once you've done that, your quest will update and you'll see beauty and destruction being activated. Next, you're going to need to head on over to the Iron Temple and speak with Saladin. After speaking with him, you'll need to speak with Tira Karn. She's going to ask you to collect iron medallions, the little wolf artifact thingy. There are seven of them in total, so let's go ahead and get the first one which is located here. Make a right and go down the staircase a bit. Directly in front of you, there should be ledges which you can jump up onto. Go ahead and hop on top of those ledges until you get to your first iron medallion. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and head on back over to the Plague Lands. Once you spawn into the Plague Lands, turn to your right and head on over to the shed where you'll find an iron medallion. Next, we're going to be getting the medallion to the left of the area which you spawn in at. Once you're in the bunker Triglav, head on over to the left side of this area. On the left side, there should be a room with a doorway. Head through that doorway and then go straight down. To your right, there should be another doorway. Head through that and then once you're through it, look down and to your left to find your iron medallion. Once you've gotten that one, hop back onto your sparrow and continue heading down the pathway. Now we're going over to the Forgotten Pass. Continue heading left until you come across a bridge. Once there, hop off your sparrow and look on the ground to your left to find your next iron medallion. Next, we're going to head on over to Archon's Keep. Once in the area, make a left and head down that left pathway for a little bit. At the top of the area, you should see a room which you can go into. Now, you don't want to go into this room. What you want to do is right at the entrance, you're going to make a left and look at the ground in that area against the wall. The iron medallion will be right there. Once you've gotten that, continue down the pathway. Next, we're going to Giant's Husk. Once you're in Giant's Husk, go around the big structure on your right to the staircase. Once there, head up the staircase and then make a right. You'll find another staircase. Keep going up and in front of you, you'll see some crates. Hop on top of those crates and then across from you, you should see a platform. Hop across that platform and use it like a bridge. Continue going straight to where you'll see cargo crates. From there, hop on top of them and head on over to your right. Keep going straight and then look down to find the iron medallion. Next, we're going to head on over to Site 6. Hop onto your ghost and head on back over to Archon's Keep. 
from here you're gonna head on over to the pathway where you had put a splicer key in to open. Now you don't need a splicer key because you're not actually going in there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make a left right before the entrance to that area and on the ground there will be your last iron medallion. Now go ahead and head back to the iron temple where you'll speak with Tira Karn. The quest should then update and you'll get a symbol of honor this is a mission on Earth which you'll need to complete. Now it's not too tough to complete, you'll have to scan a few points and then protect a few locations. While you're defending the points, be careful for exploding shanks. And then once you're done doing that, a giant fallen captain will appear and that will be the final boss of the mission. Go ahead and defeat him and then return to the Iron Temple where you'll speak with Tira Karn. Once you speak with her, your quest should update, and this time you'll need to collect five dormant SIVA clusters. SIVA clusters are these little red glowy things. If you've already collected five before this, your mission will skip this part. Five very simple ones to get are located back in the Plaguelands Patrol. Okay, so the first one, once you spawn in, go ahead and head directly in front of you, and go a little to the right. That'll be your first one. Once you've gotten that, hop onto your ghost and go to the area where you got your second medallion. Before you get to that exact spot though, make a left and go into the little tower that's in front of you. Head on up the stairs and then look behind one of the monitors to find your second SIVA cluster. Now for the next three, you're gonna need a splicer key because they're behind the locked pathway that you went down before where you saw the giant walker. Go ahead and make sure you have a splicer key once you have one. Go down the pathway, and in the very first room, go all the way to the window so you're overlooking where the walker is. Once you're looking at that, look a little above you, and there should be a monitor up on the wall. Behind that monitor is where that cluster is located. Basically, you can jump towards it and press square as you're in the air in order to pick it up. Once you've gotten that, Go ahead and head down the pathway behind the walker into the area where you can't return from. Once you drop down, go ahead and turn left and follow the pathway along the wall. There'll be a cave at the very end and inside of this cave is where you'll find your Fort Siva cluster. Once you've gotten that, head back to the spot where you dropped in at. Now go ahead and head straight. Head all the way down to the final area of this room. Once inside, head on over to the back left corner of this room. Once you're standing there, turn to your right and look at the pillar to find your fifth and final SIVA cluster. Once you've gotten that, go ahead and head on back to the Iron Temple where you'll speak with Saladin who will give you beauty in delivery. For this, you're going to need to complete another mission located in the Cosmodrome. Now for this mission, you want to be careful when it comes to killing enemies, because as you do kill the enemies, stronger ones appear, so it's better to just run around the area and distract the enemies. Once your ghost completes the reconstruction, all of the enemies will disappear. Now we move on to the final phase of the mission. You've got your Yallerhorn reforged and in your hand, and there is an infinite amount of heavy ammo scattered all over the map. Go ahead and have fun with that Yallerhorn now. Basically, just kill all the enemies in the area, and that'll be the final part of the quest. There you go, you've got your lovely new Yallerhorn now. With that done, remember to drop a like in the video if it did help you out, and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Good luck out there, Guardian.